Hi guys, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing Sophia's 14 month update and she will only be with us for part of this video probably because she's a very busy 14 month old and she'll probably end up going to take her nap and then I'll finish it. But we'll see how long she just plays in the bed. But let's get right into this update. So she weighs about 20 pounds, so she hasn't really gained very much weight, but she's so active and busy that that is not very surprising. She has six teeth now. It took her forever to get two more teeth. She had, she had four for like months and months. And then just recently she got two on either side of her top two teeth. And she's been quite a bit happier since then. <laughs> but I think she is working on her molars, her one year molars, so they're just kind of always teeth going on but even though she only has six teeth and they're all front teeth she's so good at chewing things like even apples with the peels on them she's just like she's amazing at chewing things up I don't know how she does it she still normally has two naps a day occasionally she'll only take one if the schedule kind of got messed up or we were gone and I couldn't like make her take a nap because unless we're home they're kind of iffy whether or not she'll take a nap but she's such a good sleeper especially at night she almost never ever wakes up at night and even if she does i almost never have to go in there and like do anything she wakes up and she might cry and then she realizes that she's fine and just goes back to sleep and it's so nice especially since we're gonna have a newborn in probably less than a month so i'm really glad that we have her sleep down at least so that I only have to worry about one at a time at night. She's super sweet and gives me and Luke hugs and kisses all the time. She loves to give hugs especially. Kisses she's a little bit more reserved about and she normally won't give us a kiss unless we show her what we mean like we'll kiss each other and then she'll be like oh okay and then she'll give us one, one of us a kiss. <laughs> but it's so sweet and it just melts my heart when she does give us a hug or a kiss because it's just like oh, it's just the best thing. She also hugs her baby dolls and her stuffed animals. <laughs> She's just so lovely, and she hugs the dog and the cats, and she just likes to show affection to everybody by giving them hugs. She's been walking for a while now, and she's really, really sturdy on her feet. And she actually runs now, too, which is really impressive. But she kind of, she took a little bit longer to walk than she, I thought she would, but then once she started walking, She's just really, really good at it, and she almost never has falls or accidents, and she just like knows exactly what to do, so. But now that she can run, she's getting pretty fast, like especially me being over eight months pregnant, it's a little hard for me to keep up with her sometimes. I think it was about a month or two ago that she started being able to ask us what things were by pointing at them, which she was so excited about, because I'm sure she's been curious about all kinds of things, but just not knowing how to ask us, so she would point at like everything in the house, especially at the lights on the ceiling. She probably asked about those like a billion times over like a two month span. <laughs> and then now she's just actually just stopped doing that. So I guess it was just a phase of being really curious about the ceiling lights, but yeah, it's nice that she can ask us what things are by pointing at them. She is such a big helper and I love that she is so interested in helping and so I've been really trying to encourage it by allowing her to help even though it takes way longer but in the end I will be glad that I did. She loves helping me unload the dishwasher. She helps me unload the silverware tray and the bottom rack of the dishwasher so she hands me all the plates even though they're breakable but she is so good at it and she just loves the process like it's so cute that she just loves helping. She also likes to help me load the dryer. She opens the door of the dryer and then I put a handful in and then she closes the door and I get another handful ready and then she has to open the door so she's she really likes to help with that as well. And those are the two main things she likes to help with. She's helped me do some baking before. If I have my baking supplies out anyway, I'll give her a little bowl with some flour and maybe some cinnamon and water and she just goes to town mixing stuff up and using different utensils to smash it. She loves like smashing it through a strainer or a funnel or just squeezing in her hand or just like really fascinating to her. So even though it makes a big mess, it's really important developmentally for them to be allowed to make messes and help with things like that. So, and it's just really cute to watch too, but it does make a big mess on the floor. But thankfully we have a dog that cleans most of that stuff up. She loves transferring items to one container from one container to another. She's just fascinated with like moving handfuls of dirt from a pot into a bucket or like moving her 
toys from one thing to another. And she loves putting things in her little purse and like transferring it and then taking them out in another place. It's just like, this is her new thing lately. And she really likes to, she'll bring me one toy out of, a, out of one of her toy bins and she'll bring one toy at a time until that bin is empty and then she'll take the toys one at a time and put them back in the bin. And it just keeps her entertained for a long time. Now that she's been walking for a while, we let her walk around the store sometimes and she loves it. Whenever we're in somewhere that's not just at home, she loves when we let her walk by herself. And she has no fear. Like she's definitely always been like kind of a mama's girl and very attached and she doesn't like people to hold her. But when she's walking and there's not people like trying to pick her up or something. She like she doesn't care if we leave her there really. Like she is just in her zone. She wants to go exploring and see what she can find. It's super cute. She likes to climb up on the couch and then stand on the coffee tables. We've had to clear all the breakable stuff off of our coffee tables because I'm fine with letting her stand on them and she just really loves it. And then she's also figured out that she can climb up the back of our couch and stand on the windowsill and then look out the window better. And it's really cute and she just gets so excited and happy when she's up there that she just starts screaming and she's just, she loves it. That's probably just partly why she's so sturdy on her feet and she climbs so well and she's got such great balance because we just let her do stuff unless it's going to be really dangerous or she's going to break something. Okay, Sophia is down for a nap now because she was just way too wild and crazy. <laughs> the rest of this video will be without her. Okay, I'm sorry, but I took her to the chiropractor late December and she was a little bit out, which I kind of figured because she's had a few falls, obviously, just from learning to walk and climbing on things that she shouldn't and then falling off of them sometimes. The last time I had taken her was when she was newborn, so she's been to the chiropractor twice now, and so I don't probably won't have to take her for like another year or six months. But it was really important to me to make sure that from a young age she was all like aligned and everything was good there because as her muscles are growing and, and developing around the bones, I, I just want everything to be in line so that she can grow properly and have just really good health because chiropractic care does have a lot to do with health in general. She pretends to eat off of her toy silverware and it's super cute because Luke started doing that where he would put the silverware up to his mouth and then do like and then he would put it up to her mouth and she would do the same thing and it's just so cute and now she does it even when we don't initiate it and it's really funny to watch her play with her toy food. When she was more mobile and especially when she was walking we started having to tell her not to touch things that were not safe or that we didn't want her to break and she when we first started she was really really good about it and she would just stop and it was amazing and then more recently she's gotten a little less good about it and sometimes she thinks it's funny to just do it anyway and so that's been an adventure but I kind of figured that would happen anyway. <laughs> she's gone through several really hilarious things with being told not to touch things at first she would do like this thing like she would put her hand out at us like she was trying to use the force and she would say don't touch <laughs> it was so funny and she will point at the thing that she knows she's not supposed to touch and she'll and she'll shake her head and she'll be like don't touch and so i know she knows that she's not supposed to but i mean developmentally she can't really stop herself sometimes and then the most recent thing which is absolutely hilarious and also kind of sassy so i have to really try not to laugh at it is I'll ask her not to touch something and she like kind of stomps off and she's like don't touch don't touch don't touch and she just says it over and over again under her breath <laughs> it's the most funny thing ever there's really not all that many things in our house that she's not allowed to touch and especially in our living room we made it really baby safe so we can close the gate that goes into the kitchen and we close the door that goes into our bedroom and like everything is baby proof because we don't want her to get too frustrated. She's added a few more words to her vocabulary and it's super cute. She has officially started saying no instead of just shaking her head. She says don't touch. She says don't touch me. Sometimes she, when she's in a bad mood she does not like physical affection. And so when she's in a bad mood and I like just stroke her head or something, which I do all the time and she normally loves it, she'll be like, kind of push my hand and be like, don't touch me. <laughs> Okay, I won't touch you. But it's so funny how she has such strong opinions for such a little girl. But I am really glad that she can express those opinions and 
tell me when she doesn't want to be touched and I know when she doesn't want to be picked up and I feel like it's important that even though she's only 14 months that we respect her bodily autonomy as much as we can. She still says thank you. She says ouch. So now when she gets hurt she'll be like ow, ouch. She says uh oh. When she drops something or one of us drops something or something happens she'll be like uh oh. She says wow a lot and it's just adorable. Mostly when she sees something that she just thinks is super cool or it's a new thing or just like for a lot of things she's like wow. Like she's just in awe of what she's looking at. It's just so sweet. She has moved into the upstairs bedroom now because our upstairs is all done and Luke finished remodeling it. It looks amazing. I'll link the video about remodeling it that I did. I don't know if it'll be up before this one but I'll still link it below. And then hopefully I'll be able to do a nursery room tour eventually too, once everything's set up exactly how I want. But she does, she did so, so good moving up there. She's only ever slept in this room, in our master bedroom. And her crib was set up right there in the corner. And once she got to a certain age, we just moved our our mattress out to the living room because we weren't we weren't sleeping very well all in the same room. And we were just waiting until the upstairs was finished to move up there so that we could move our bed back in here and just, yeah. So our bed was out in the living room for like nine months, eight months, I don't know. It was out there for a long time <laughs> and it's just so nice to have it back in here and have a big living room again. We can actually have company over and she just did so well transitioning up there and she just we went right to sleep the first time we put her down for a nap up there. She just didn't seem to care. I was a lot more worried about it than she was because she's never slept anywhere else. But that is really nice for me to know that she can sleep other places. So now if we like wanted to take a trip somewhere or do something like that, that I would feel a lot more comfortable trying it now that I know that it's probably going to be way easier than I expect. She is so good at getting dressed. She's actually loving like helping with the process. So especially with shirts and especially with jackets and coats, she loves sticking her arm out to like help put it through the hole. And then she also does the same thing like sticking her foot out when we're trying to put her shoes or socks on. She doesn't do that with pants yet, but I'm sure she'll get there eventually. But it's just really cute that she wants to help with getting dressed. She's just so independent that I'm sure that at a really young age she will just be really interested in wanting to get dressed on her own and that'll just be really cute <laughs> when she like, gets to that phase where she wants it she wants to do it herself. She is so tough when she gets hurt. She like almost never cries like hardly at all when she gets hurt and it used to be kind of worse about it but I've done a lot of work just on myself like not reacting like gasping or just like being way overly dramatic when she gets hurt. So normally our reaction is like, unless she's like really hurt, we obviously help her. But if she tips over or something and she's fine, we'll, I'll just be like really calm and she'll kind of look over at me and she won't start crying yet and I'll just be like, oh, you fell down. And then I'll ask her if she's okay and then she's like, and then she just kind of gets up and goes on with what she was doing and she's like, oh, I guess I'm fine because mom didn't seem to be upset about it. So I found that it's made her up just a lot more independent and just stable and grounded, it seems like. She's just very confident in herself and her ability to do things and she just doesn't react like a lot of children do when they get hurt that I've noticed. We just got a baby monitor that has the video function on it, which I love. I wish we had gotten this way sooner, but it's so funny to watch her sleeping because I've, I've always been curious, like what what position does she sleep in or does she actually go to sleep right away when we put her in there or is she just quiet for a long time? And so it's really funny to watch like her sleeping habits. She, once she does fall asleep, which sometimes it takes a long time, like sometimes it takes you like an hour to fall asleep, but she's just perfectly quiet, just playing by herself. And I had no idea that she did that. But once she does fall asleep, she either sleeps on her stomach with her butt in the air, like on her face, or she sleeps on her back and she pulls her blanket up over her face and then just like her hands are like all sprawled by her face and she's like completely covered in the blanket. I'm glad that it's one of those crocheted blankets that has a bunch of like big holes in it, otherwise she would suffocate herself. But she definitely has some interesting sleeping habits <laughs> that are just really cute to watch. It just brings me such peace of mind to be able to just like, just like actually look at her at night instead of having to sneak up there and wake her up. So video baby monitors. Once your babies aren't co-sleeping with you, 
worth the investment. Like, it would have saved me a lot of stress if we had just gotten this sooner. So anyway, I think that's all for Sophia's 14 month update. I really feel like I'm forgetting stuff because she's just changed so, so much in these last two months. She went from being like a big chubby baby to a really lean toddler. Like she is not a baby anymore. She is totally a toddler. She's leaned out. She just acts so grown up about things. And she feeds herself a lot of food now and she talks. And it's just crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I definitely love having these videos to look for me to look back on and see what she's doing in different ages. And pretty soon I'll be starting to do Demetrius's little monthly updates. So that'll be really exciting too. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.